Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you with my Black Friday haul. Yay, Black Friday happened, which is like the one time a year that I buy products pretty much. Uh, except for other sales and stuff throughout the year, but it's the main time. The main time I buy products. The sales were great this year. Everything I got except for like one thing which I'll mention was like 40 to 60% off. Yes, I said 60. I might as well start with that one. Honey's handmade was like 60% off if I bought like enough stuff. So yeah, I was up for the challenge. I looked through her products and I saw enough stuff I wanted to try. So I was able to get that. <laughs> I got mostly deep conditioners with one leave-in I think it is and um, like a hair gel, a custard. I guess no real order. I got this pink sugar hibiscus conditioning mask and this honey hibiscus conditioning mask. Like they sound almost the same but the ingredients were different enough that it's going to be different. So I'm not a big shea butter person as you know but her stuff tends to be pretty light so I'm not too too worried about it. You know it has the butters and stuff which will be great in lieu of BTMS and so on. At least it has some butters for emollients. And it has the hibiscus which is great, aloe which is great, and of course the honey which is bay for me. So I'm expecting to like this, and this is similar like I said, doesn't, I don't see any BTMS and stuff, but it does have like some butters and stuff that should hopefully get me through. So ingredients look good, I like the first honey's handmade DC I tried and I'm looking forward to trying these as well. Bentonite sea clay mask and a pumpkin cookum chocolate mask. So I'm definitely going to be enjoying my deep conditioning next year. I don't know if you can see these. I was down to try another clay mask. They are sea clay and then bentonite clay as the second and third ingredients. So I don't really see chocolate, I see kind of like cocoa butter. But there is some rascal clay, some agave nectar and some aloe. So I guess it has the basics in here. And we'll see. <laughs> but I expect, I expect it to work decently. So look out for that, look out for the reviews I guess. I might have to do a big honey's handmade video, I don't know. It's going to take me a while to try all of this stuff, so I don't know how I'm going to organize that. I guess look out for my seasonal stash reviews for sure with these. This peach and junk here, no protein, strengthening lotion and strengthening mask. So I've never seen a protein treatment leave-in, so that was a little bit interesting. Don't even really see instructions on this. Of course it's going to have like a strengthening hair lotion without instructions. A little scary, but... Anyhow, I'm going to use it as a leave-in, I guess, and just monitor the situation. It's not completely full, as you can see. I'm not sure what's up with that either. And I had another little beef with her too, which is that I emailed her because I was supposed to get free shipping and I didn't. So the shipping wasn't that much, I guess, maybe five, six dollars, I guess. But I was still a little bit annoyed, A, that I had to pay for shipping even though I bought all this stuff over the amount that she said, and B, she never responded to my email. So, like, I know that... People have mentioned customer service issues with her. I don't expect responses to your emails, I guess. But her products are pretty good. So, anyway, so besides this being low and not getting free shipping and her not responding to my email about free shipping, other than that, I'm a happy camper with these products. And this one somehow not seeming to have instructions on it. So, if anybody has used this, let me know if you use this or leave in successfully. The ingredients look really nice, so I'll give it that. I have to kind of get behind because the bottle focuses on me. <laughs> so I'm hiding behind the bottle. If you can see that. Peach, ginger, quinoa, yogurt, honey quart and everything. It does look good. Then the hair mask. This also has like the water, peach, ginger, quinoa. And I got this coffee cocoa curling custard. So I just like the whole, I like all her mixes of like flavors or scents or vibes, ingredients. The idea of having a coffee cocoa like hair gel, that's really, really cool to me. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I see some xanthan gum. I don't know how much hole it's going to have, but I don't need know, y'all know I don't care much about hole per se. Like if I know it's going to be like a light hole thing, I just use it and know that, you know, use it for a few days and then be prepared to co-wash or something. So it's not a big deal to me, as long as I'm prepared for it and not like needing a whole week and not able to get it. So this is the ingredients. She said heavy handed, and this is not necessary. Okay, but <laughs> I mean I'm not super heavy handed with gels, I'm more heavy handed with leave-ins and deep conditioners, I think. So anyway, we'll see. I think that's a good one to do a demo with. Maybe I'll use it with this lotion. 
might be a good one for a demo. The second huge one and the one that I was like most excited about would be the She Scented because there were so many things I wanted to try and I'm finally getting to try. My main goals for the She Scented this year was to try the Passion Fruit line, to try more of the Pomegranate line and just to get a few restocks and so on. So sorry to people who wanted certain things in the Passion Fruit line and couldn't get it. I have it. <laughs> Basically I have pretty much one of everything I think. So let's get into it. It just seems so cool and she actually had the passion fruit extract in this and not just the oil so I'm expecting it to do great things to my hair and I can't wait to try it basically. This I guess this charcoal scalp detox since it cleanses hair and scalp it's gonna be like a shampoo well not a shampoo but a cleanser and I guess the charcoal will probably feel kind of like a clear mask and I guess this has to be a demo because you guys have to see this as well. So the ingredients. I love it, it has passion fruit extract as well as this activated charcoal. So bring it on. Interesting. Again, from the passion fruit line. You all know I love every she sent to DC. You really can't go wrong. I'm glad to see more companies catching one and really including quinoa in their protein treatments. Like even, I think, the Curl Origin and then these and stuff. So, yay for that. And that's my favorite protein to use for protein treatment because it's not as drying and harsh as like wheat and rice and some of the other ones. But it has that kick, like you can feel like your shrinkage gets real and you can feel that like it's really doing what it's supposed to do. Like you can see effects, but it's still moisturizing. Looking forward to trying this as well. I also got this cream rinse, which is basically a conditioner. So I'm going to try this as a leave-in, as you guys know, and see how it works as a leave-in. If it doesn't work as a leave-in, then I might use it as like a co-wash, like some rare midway co-wash when I magically have time to do one, which is like once a year or so much. It looks like a nice consistency. I can't really show you, but it looks like it, just from my little PJ knowledge. It doesn't look super heavy. It looks like a good consistency. I think the ingredients on all this whole line is kind of similar except for like the active stuff. Ingredients wise I guess it's kind of similar to everything else in terms of the passion fruit extract being like the main thing. I told y'all that y'all were gonna have to hold me back this she sent it Black Friday and I wasn't kidding as you can tell I got even more she sent it and I got Honey's Handmade which is saying a lot. So after this I think the other things I have less things so yeah but anyways so I got this leave-in, creamy leave-in. I'm excited to try this as well. Again, you know, the ingredients are pretty similar on all in this line, which is good. And she says it's this year free, so I can definitely break this out even December. So this might be one of the early reviews. We shall see. Don't even know where to start. This is gonna be kind of hype to do videos like demos again, because I haven't done one in a while. Like film one in like a month or something, so yeah. This could be bringing me back, or I could just be talking about it now. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. And I got the gel, so I definitely have like a whole wash day with this passion fruit line. So I'm excited about that. So it's curly finding jelly. So I basically use jellies and custards, I just call everything gel, but most times I use jellies or custards. So it does have carbama, and I've been kind of breaks in from buying carbama. Like, I don't know if you've seen me say in previous videos like I don't want to pay a lot of money for like a carbomer product where carbomer is the active ingredient because one is kind of cheap and two it dries out my hair but I decided to just buy the bullet and give some she scented gels a try because I have never tried any jelly or anything like that from she scented so I decided hey I'm gonna try it you know I don't know if I would like it but I'm gonna just give it a whirl because of she scented and I have some faith I guess that's it for the passion fruit but why are we talking about gels and jellies and giving she sent jellies a whirl and them having like, you know, synthetic gelling agents? Let me show you this one as well. So I got this apricot and illipi curl creator jelly. I'm just curious to see what it's going to do on my hair, just like the passion fruit gel. This one has hydroxylethyl cellulose, which does a bit better on my hair. So hydroxylethyl cellulose, depending on the formulation, can make my hair really crunchy. But at least let's dry my hair out like carbomo. It's also a synthetic gelling agent. But I decided like, let me live a little bit. I am, you know, year three or whatever. So natural. So I might as well start to relax and just enjoy the ride a little bit. So I decided to get this just to see how it is. If I don't like them, or even if I like them, I may not be purchasing them just because, like I said, 
I kind of prefer to use like the gum based, pectin based type jellies, but I'm gonna try it. YOLO. My next goal, but she sent it this year, was to get some more pomegranate stuff. Like I said, I got this again. She sent the jelly thing I'm trying this year. I got this um, oil and gel hair pudding from the pomegranate and pear line. And this one has hydroxylethyl cellulose and carbomo, so it has both. Waiting for it to come out with a gel that didn't have either one of those just seemed like it wasn't gonna happen. So it was time for me to decide if I wanted to try her gels or not, I guess. And I went for it this year. I got three, apparently. And then I got this pomegranate and pear moisture milk. So I'm not usually a fan of moisture milks. But in the case of she sent it, I'm definitely willing to give it a try because I know her products tend to be very conditioning and very moisturizing so it wouldn't be the traditional hair milk which kind of just sits on my hair and doesn't do that much for me at least I'm expecting It does say that it functions as a leave-in and styler so that's good I don't really see any holding ingredient in here but I do expect from what she said that I should and just from knowing her brand that I should be able to use this as a leave-in So I got this pomegranate restorative hair mask which is a restock but I really liked it and it was super moisturizing so if you're looking for intensive moisture <laughs> give this a try because I definitely think it intensively moisturized my hair it could be even my favorite she sent the deep conditioner right now I'm not sure and that's kind of the end of the pomegranate and pear section but then I have a couple more individuals so I had to get at least this royal honey and argan hair mask because you know I love honey in my products I want to see what she sent it royal honey hair mask like what it's gonna do for me it actually says for very dry hair I can just imagine how moisturizing it is because her deep conditioners on the whole are moisturizing so if you throw in honey I can just I just imagine like amazement and angels singing and everything last but not least I have my two restocks so I have blueberry co-wash which you guys have seen me demo review and talk about a lot and this green tea and ginseng co-wash which I talked about in my last seasonal stash I love both of these so next we have Curl Origin and I got a couple restocks as well as well as tried some new things. So this is slightly cheating because I didn't get it in Black Friday. There was like a 50% off sale a few months ago and I copped it. But I'm including it because you haven't seen it in any haul yet. And I pretty much do one haul a year so I'm going to put kind of count it in Black Friday. So in terms of restocks, I got this Maracuja Deep Recovery Conditioner which you guys know I love. <laughs> and I actually got another one of these overnight masks even though I haven't even tried it yet. Just because I know I'm gonna love it. This Marilla and Quinoa Damage Control Protein Treatment, which I told you in my best of 2018 video that this is my new favorite protein treatment. So, of course, I had to restock this as well. There are a few protein treatments I'm trying this year, so look out for my best of 2019, I guess, to see who won in the end. But right now, this is my favorite protein treatment. And in terms of the new new from Curl Origin, I have this Hibiscus Shake Curl Hydrate and Leave In. So I got the moisture milk last time, I think Maracuja moisture milk, but I did want to try their leave-in and I did want to try like a different line other than the Maracuja Marula. So I got this Hibiscus Shea Curl Hydrating Leave-in as well as this Hibiscus Shea Curl Hydrating Conditioner. So if I didn't know that this line was super moisturizing, you wouldn't catch me anywhere near Shea Butter. But I think like in a very moisturizing brand, I can probably risk using something with Shea Butter and still having it moisturize my hair. So if I know the brand is like heavy and thick, like I wouldn't use it. But if I know it's a lighter, penetrating brand, I'm gonna take the chance. And the shea butter is pretty far down, so you know I'm relatively comfortable and confident trying this. So I think I'm gonna actually try both as leave-ins, not together, but I'm gonna try this as a leave-in, this is a leave-in. And next I have like We Joy or We Jill. We Jill. I don't know, I don't even know how I pronounce it. But the ingredients look good. <laughs> it looks similar to she said it in terms of ingredients. This was also on sale, I think like 40-50% off when I decided to get it. So I got this Be Clean Co-Wash. Triple Butter Moisture Mask. 3-in-1 leave-in. And this Oil and Gel Pudding. This one has hydroxylethyl cellulose. But like I said, the ingredients look kind of she said enough for me and I know I like she sent it. So that's part of why I decided to give these a try um, and I haven't tried them yet but I will soon so the next kind of new brand that I'm trying is this Nectar in Maine so again it look a little bit she sent to tea in terms of the ingredients and when I say that I mean I just see a lot of like light and hydrating ingredients I got this heavenly hydration leave-in detangling milk which I'm looking forward to using 
it does have coconut milk and all that for those who don't like that but my hair likes coconut milk and so on fine the heavenly hydration deep treatment mask i do see coconut milk and so on in all of these products so if you don't like that watch out coconut milk coconut oil <laughs> and another gel i end up with a lot of gel y'all because i was just saying this year 2018 i didn't use a lot of gels i use mostly my diy which isn't my favorite because it's crunchy and i'm working on that but i use mostly that but 2019 i will have a gel to try this is supposed to be a soft hole styling gel it does also have carbomel like i mentioned but yeah i'm looking forward to just you know seeing interesting results seeing my hair look different and whatever because different gels make my hair look different so looking forward to that when i just use my diy gel i kind of know how it's going to look all the time so Variety is the spice of my life, so looking forward to that. My last new brand that I haven't tried before is this Pop Curl. And of course, I have to be extra and get the orchid. <laughs> like I'm gonna be going around with like purple hair, and if it shows as purple on the screen, but it looks kind of purple right now. I couldn't get like a red or gold or something. I had to be extra, right? I decided like if I'm gonna go, I might as well go hard. So I'm gonna be demoing this. I haven't decided if I'm going to just put it at the end so it could be really thick and bright or if I'm going to put it throughout because this actually says it could be used as a regular hair gel so not just a color but it actually has ingredients for a gel which it does like I see olive oil juice, I see xanthan gum but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to put like a regular gel like Uncle Funky or something under it and then put this over it. You guys let me know what you think if you want me to try to just use this alone or if you want me to like put it over a regular gel or what 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 you guys let me know but it's kind of purpley so my hair is going to be a little purpley so for those of you who are ingredients conscious i definitely wouldn't recommend this for ingredients but it's just something that i just kind of like was curious to try at least once when i say like ingredients a lot of the ingredients do look good but the actual color ingredients are very sketchy like titanium dioxide i'm not sure about that but I'm gonna try at least once, like I said. It's time for me to live a little bit, I guess. So, stepping out of the box this year, basically. And this is coming up. So, if you wanna see me with purple hair or something like that, comment below for sure. And I'll try to do it sooner rather than later. So, other than that, I have mostly like restocks and things that I haven't tried yet, but from brands that I know and love. So, I was lucky and blessed enough to get some Bakura this year. This is on my favorite list from my best of 2018 and just best of life, best of forever which is this honey latte hair milk which I just think is a super awesome leave-in so it has lots of slip it's very light, doesn't weigh your hair down very defining, conditioning, moisturizing, everything and I got it in this bigger 16 ounce size so I'm super happy about that especially since like knowing I was getting this I finished off, pretty much finished off this one which is the regular kind of 8 ounce size and since the sale was decent, I decided to get some more stuff. I got this Tonga mousse. Don't know much about creams, but it's supposed to be something that you can use as a leave-in, like a leave-in hair cream. A hair cream that you can use as a leave-in, I'm definitely down for that. I had a great experience with the Kiddies and Curls Moisturizer from Baskin Bloom as a leave-in. I'm really liking the notion of like leave-ins that can be hair creams, hair creams that can be leave-ins. And I got these two other things. So one is this revival hair tea so the sale was good on this side so I to just give it a try I like refresher sprays and I'm always down for cool ingredients that aren't really in a lot of my other products so so I try this out as well I got this shampoo so overall I'm kind of scared of shampoos I think somebody did mention on the website that it is definitely a clarifying shampoo so it's gonna probably like be kind of expecting to be a little harsh or stripping or whatever so i'm gonna use it gingerly carefully these two were a bit on the random side i will admit but they were on a good sale so and the hair refresher spray and the clarifying shampoo is good to have on there so last but not least i have some sotalicos and some blue rose beauty of course sotalicos had like a 50 percent off sale i didn't really need anything but i was curious to try these and i wanted to support a little bit so I got these two, the Chebe Ginger Deep Conditioner, which I've heard good reviews on. I will say I've heard some mixed reviews as well, but I've heard some good ones. I've never really tried Chebe before, so I'm looking forward to it just for that. But it just looks like an interesting treatment. So I'm not going to expect it to be super moisturizing, although if it is great, 
but it just has a lot of like interesting ingredients in there for the treatment like the chibi powder, the clove, amla, ginseng, onion juice even so I'm gonna try it as a treatment probably sometime when my hair is really moisturized I don't really need to deep condition and I got the pumpkin curl in healing locks curl detox so I guess this is one more cleanser so I've just been hearing great things about this for so long and haven't tried it I just kind of had to get on it so I guess it is another clay treatment, so I guess I kind of have two plus the charcoal. Clay isn't as high up as it is with the honey's handmade, but it's still right there in the middle and I see the kaolin as well as the bentonite and I still have the pumpkin stuff which I think my hair kind of likes pumpkin. These are the blue rose I got, so I got the chai hair tea which I kind of have to have. And I got this okra curl cream which I also love. I do have one demo of blue rose like back on my channel when I did it like a year ago. But I want to do like a new one for you guys. These are the ingredients. Yeah, I think I got some good stuff this year if I do this on myself. <laughs> Let me know what you got for Black Friday and who has like a really great Black Friday haul like to check out and what you want to see demos for more reviews from first. Let me know down below. Thanks for watching if you're still here at the end of all of that. It was a really fun haul. I'm super excited to like try it all and everything like that. So look out for more coming up on this channel. Same bad time, same bad channel I guess. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye.